I did not realize that portal was going to be so far away from Social Media Mountain, but oh, here it is, finally. Oh, hopefully it won't take too long to find this leery fellow, whoever it is. Well, hello there! Are, are you by chance Leary? Oh, I see by your name tag you are. Uh, Captain Wishbone wanted me to deliver this to you, so here you go. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take it back. Um, oh, oh, you had a letter to send back to him. Oh, okay, I, I'll, I, I can take it back. Um, I do kind of charge diamonds. Um, Wishbone will handle it. Oh, COD. Okay, cash on delivery. Okay, all right. Um, I'll take your word for it. You seem like an upstanding fellow. Um, yeah. Uh, n nice doing business with you. I hope you enjoy. And uh, thank you for using Millie Mail. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, head out. Uh, bye there, Mr. Leary. Hey, that trip to Social Media Mountain was a doozy. Um, let's set this back to Craftwork so that nobody mistakes this portal for a real one. And I should probably turn this off so nobody expects anything. Alright. Alright, guys. Uh, that was quite the long journey to Social Media Mountain and back, but Larry Bird is, was gracious enough to give me a book, so excellent. And I have to go deliver it over to Cap's house, so I, I'm going to head that way and uh, see what we got. Um, let's head out of here. Oh, it's been so long. I hope hope things out here on the homestead have been fine. I haven't haven't left my siblings alone for too long. Oh, I have to fix that. Um, yeah. So okay. All right. Barn still has grown over as ever. And um, wait, why is there more mushrooms? Um. Hold on here. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I had, I just mowed this lawn. There's more up uh, uh, and there's, they're down here too. And they're on the porch hanging out. And are they in the house? <gasps> they're in the house too? What? No. Oh my gosh, guys. After all that long trip, and the mushrooms just decide to take on over, I'm gonna have to school them. I think, I think we're gonna have to build a schoolhouse, and I'm gonna have to take this mushroom pal behind me and all of his friends, 
And I'm going to have to teach him a lesson on how to respect people's personal property. And ugh, there's, oh my god, they're all over the pond area too. <sighs> well, guys, let's let's build a schoolhouse. Let's let's go. All right, now that we finally have a school in, the mushrooms are clambering to start their first lesson. So let's go on up there and show you how everything looks. Now I made a nice little pathway to lead us up to the school. And here it is. Here is the mushroom school in all of its glory and, oh, well, well, thank you for the apple, but um, you need to go to your lesson first. Okay. <laughs> so I just brought up a couple of additional little bits and pieces to kind of decorate around here, just to kind of give this schoolyard a little extra sense of color and give it just a little bit of pop of something else. And I just wanted to have there we go. A little bit more, and then we're going to make it feel a little more like home for them. Give it just a little mycelium around here. And put some of our friends that we have. And we'll even put, let's see, we should have one more of them over here yes now you can be here and we want to make sure that we put our banner to make sure that everybody knows that this is the mushroom school and okay before we're completely and utterly done some of the mushrooms have gotten excited and they are already here in the classroom and ready to go and we're gonna put uh, a seat back in here just in case somebody else wants to join us 
And here we go. Here are the mushroom lessons. All right now, class, are you ready? So first lesson one of mushroom etiquette, grow in dark, damp places. Caves are usually the best because they are always dark and damp. Number two, respect other people's property. Do not grow on other people's property. They can get upset. Number three, spread mycelium outside, not inside, like inside my house. No, do not do that. People will catch on to the fact you're growing in a place that you shouldn't be. Number four, don't let humans know you understand them. Looking at you. Don't you dare let humans know you understand them. They can uh, catch on very quickly, so just be careful. And then number five, be careful not to use magic in front of humans. That includes portals and other kinds of magical things like growing crazy and, you know, just, just you know, building, building things. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you building things that we're not supposed to they're, they're not supposed to know that you just built yourselves up around this place so don't let anybody see you so those are the lessons for today now i have one additional lesson and that is to stop stop being so distracted and actually go you know deliver the letter to to captain wishbone that i was supposed to so let me head on back to spawn and make sure i get this letter from larry delivered finally um oh and i need to make a i need to make a note that uh wishbone actually owes me a couple diamonds for that delivery back so let's all right come again for a landing no one saw that right all right let's deliver cap his letter from Larry is a cash on delivery we really need to get him to pay but and you know what I'm just gonna give him a torch flower too because I know cap tends to like very unique and different kinds of things like this entire chorus plant um, giant forest that he has growing up there so maybe he'll like a torch flower too all right so there's one last thing that we need to do and that is head out to the end because apparently they built a store while I was gone. Yeah, not sure about that, but let's go check it out. Welcome back to the shopping district. I think it's safe to share some of these shops down here, but I had one focus. I need to see the shop the mushrooms made. And they said it was through a hobbit hole. Yep, that definitely looks like a hobbit hole. Okay, I think that is Empress Lilibet shop. I think that's maybe unicorns flower shop and oh yes yep mushrooms the mushrooms said that while i was gone they built their own shop now why did they build their own shop they, they said they wanted to make diamonds so they moved out all the mushrooms and out of millie's marbles and put it here i i'm not gonna stop them i did need to do that so excellent um there's a barrel for uh, like regular mushrooms, but it doesn't look like they've stocked that yet. And then up here we have the mycelium blocks, the wart blocks, and then the three main mushroom blocks. I had thought that maybe I would end up putting some other mushrooms when I built this store, but since I didn't build this store, it, it's going to be what it is. And the mushrooms will make their money. And I don't know what they're going to do with diamonds, but we'll make sure we get some of these things stocked up a little better just in case anybody wants to use those. But, and then of course the regular mushrooms. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Make sure you give yourself a hug from me. Love you very much. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, leave me a comment, let me know who you are and be able to, uh, you know, join the Millie Mushroom family. So from the mushrooms and me, I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks so much. And if you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these other fabulous mushroom-related videos. I've got a lot, and there's more to come. Bye, everyone!